I'm Courtney from Highlands Garden Center in Centennial, Colorado. Did you know that mid-February is the best time to start your vegetable seeds in order to have a wonderful full crop this summer? Starting seeds can be very rewarding and we have all the tools you need to make your job at home a success. First, let us start off with the materials you'll need for this project. You're going to want to specifically use a seed starter soil mix. This is a lot less dense than your potting mix which helps the seed create roots much faster. Then you're going to want to choose between a plastic or recycled fiber tray. Start off with the smallest cells possible because you're going to have to graduate. When you start with a smaller cell, the roots take hold much faster. You're then going to graduate to something about this size in the tray cell size. All of these are a set of three. It comes with the clear greenhouse dome, the multi-pot insert, along with the watertight tray. Another choice is to use peat pellets. We have a lot of people who like the peat pellets. These are very easy to use. You simply put them in water. They expand to four times the size. There's a little hole on top. You're gonna wanna put the seed in there, and there's no soil required. You can put these into these trays, or we have these pellet trays already. Again, in recycled fiber or plastic. These have the pellets already in them, and like I said, you will not need any soil. Another choice is to go with this set of five. There's 10 containers in each, 10 cells in each container. This is good to use if you wanted to do a bunch of different type of vegetables and not confuse which ones they are. Last choice is to start with these very small pots. They are all individuals. You would then want to graduate to something about this size and then we have one more larger size to choose from. And last but not least, you'll need your vegetable seeds. Today we will be planting cherry tomatoes. Now you are ready to start your project. First, open your bag of soil and let's fill up each cell just about three quarters full. As you see here, I have these two different kinds of shovels. I like to use this narrow tip one. It makes for a lot more accurate, although it doesn't really matter as you first start with filling the tray. Now you're going to want to place two seeds on top of each pile of soil. It's okay if you get more than two in each of the cells. Eventually you're going to trim out some of the, you're going to thin out some of these um, seedlings. Now you're just going to fill up the rest of the cell with soil. And it is okay to fill it all the way to the top this time because once you water it, it's going to compact down just a little bit. After you've completed the planting of the seeds, give your seedlings a drink of water. I like to use this kind of spout because it can cover more of an area versus this other type of spout, the more narrow one. It's just a little bit more harsh. Now it's time to put your seedlings in a very sunny spot. You can put it in a very sunny spot in direct light or place it in a very high indirect light. Depending on the amount of light your seeds will be getting every day depends on how often you need to water. When you have the greenhouse dome, you will not have to water as much. Uh, due to the small cells, however, you will be watering a little bit more often than not. You can use moisture meters like the ones I have here to tell you if they need water or not. This digital one goes between 0 and 9.9. .9. You're going to want your cells to be at four to five every single day. 
and it is important to check them every single day. If it gets too dry, it will cause stress and you won't get any crops out of it. Just as if it's too wet, the same thing will happen. This is another good one we use in house. This just says dry to wet and one, two, three, four scale. You want this to be in about the me middle of two towards the middle between two and three. Is perfect for your seeds. Thank you for joining us to start some seeds. I also wanted to recommend this Starting Seeds book. It goes over all the basics, answers a lot of questions, and is a very fast read. Also, we're just a phone call away, so be sure to call us with any questions or just come in today and our highly knowledgeable staff can help you gather up all the materials you need. Please stay tuned for our contact information and happy planting!